Welcome back to the Hard Rock Cafe in San Antonio. I'm Mark Kusenberger of the Padilla Pole. I am with head coach Joe Willis of the Cedar Park Timberwolves. Well, coach, um, Cedar Park has built such a great program over time. The district opens three new schools, and it's like nobody's slowed down. Tell us about Cedar Park staying strong when clearly some great talent is helping other schools play great football. Yes, sir. Well, we, we feel like we've got a great tradition at Cedar Park, and that's something our kids believe in and understand. And uh, like you said, there were some new schools open up. Uh, Rouse opened up, uh, stole Coach Mann from Cedar Park. Uh, and then uh, no, Van hard no, no hard feelings at all. No, and he's done a great job at, at Rouse. Took them to semifinals a couple of years ago, and, and they're becoming a traditional power. They they moved up to 6A this next year, and we're we're kind of glad to see them go. But we we put them on the schedule anyway uh, because we <laughs> we enjoy that rivalry and they make us better. So uh, we feel good about that game. And Vandergriff, of course, opened up as well, same time as Rouse did. And Drew Sanders uh, came in there, and and uh, you know they took some kids directly out of Cedar Park uh, at the time, and. You know, they've continued to grow, and, and he has put together a great coaching staff there, and uh, they're competitive year in, year out, and uh, have been in the playoffs the last few years, so uh, there's no question about it. That that area is, is, is very, has got a lot of quality football. It's very good, and, uh, you know, we we feel like week in, week out, we're going to be challenged by the, the teams in LISD and then also the teams in 25-5A. Uh, I'll put it up against any district in the state, and that's, that's a good thing. Anytime you're challenged, you're going to get better. Uh, you know, and that prepares you for the playoffs, and hopefully you make the playoffs because that district is going to be a dogfight. Well, it sounds like in theory with Rouse 6A, the other schools in the same district 5A, theoretically all five teams in the Leander ISC can make the playoffs. Well, you know, that's true now with, with Rouse going up, and, and I think there's a very good chance that they are a playoff team in that 6A district. Uh, and then, you know, we can always hope that the four LISD schools in 25-4A, uh, 25-5A now, pardon me, uh, make the playoffs. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly, and, and we'll take it if that's the case, though. Well, Coach, uh, tell us about um, building up this team once again. Um, you uh, Looks like you have some positions to fill, but you have talent all over the school ready to step in. Well, there's no doubt about it. And again, you know, that's where what you get with tradition. You know, I believe we're 49-8 and eight the last four years there at Cedar Park. and. 25 and four the last two years and anytime you know you, you win that number of games and, and you play deep in the playoffs and you have a state championship uh, you have kids that, that understand how things are supposed to be done and uh, I've got a great coaching staff at Cedar Park and I you know, believe in uh, not just in their ability to coach but their ability to be great leaders and great men and, and our kids respond well to that and that, that is, has played out well for us uh, over the past few years and we're definitely looking forward to this next year having some of those young kids step into those roles. Tell us what a state championship can do for a school, for a program, for a community like Cedar Park won a couple of years ago. Well, you know, honestly, the, the first thing a state championship does is it builds you a great road map uh, because it, once you've been there, you know what it takes to get back and you know the things that you're supposed to do to get there. Um, so that that's, uh, that's definitely one thing. And then, of course, the other thing is it sets a standard so high. Uh, that your kids know, you know, exactly what's expected. Um, and I believe there is a different expectation. Anytime uh, you win a state championship, uh, you know, getting to the playoffs is not good enough anymore. And, I, and our kids know that, and our kids believe that. Uh, and, and we're excited about this next year because we get a chance to go back and, and find that road map and, and put it to good use. What are some of the keys out of Cedar Park that could lead to a great playoff run in 2014? Well, you know, one thing I, I believe that we need to do is, is develop depth. And, uh, you know, we were very deep uh, this, this past season. Uh, we had a big senior class of uh, over 50 kids. Uh, this year we have a smaller senior class, which is okay. In 2012 we had a small senior class as well. Uh, but anytime you don't have those older kids, you have some kids that are coming off the freshman and the JV from the year before, uh, you've got to do a good job of developing depth. And I, I think that's, that's across the board. Any school that plays deep in the playoffs and makes a state championship run, they're going to have some good kids that, that are going to come in behind those starters and play and finish out games. Coach Willis, thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us. My pleasure. This year. Thank you. That's Joe Willis, head coach of the Cedar Park Timberwolves, and I'm Mark Kusenberger with PSquaredSports.com.